Call from mom. Answer it. Call silenced. Instacart knows nothing gets between you and the game. That's why they make ordering from your couch easy. Stock up today and get all your groceries for the week delivered in as fast as 30 minutes without missing a minute of the game. You have 47 new voicemails. Download the app to get free delivery on your first three orders while supplies last. Minimum $10 per order. Additional terms apply. Save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile and get fiber-powered internet at home and unbeatable 5G reliability on the go. So whether you're playing a game at home yes, cool. or attending one live, no! you can do more without spending more. Learn how to save at cox.com slash internet. Cox Internet is connected to the premises via coaxial cable. Cox Mobile runs on the network with unbeatable 5G reliability as measured by Ookla LLC in the U.S. to H 2023. Results may vary, not an endorsement. Other restrictions apply. Have you ever covered a carpet stain with a rug? Ignored a leaky faucet? Pretended your half-painted living room is supposed to look that way? Well, you're not alone. We've all got unfinished home projects. Whether it's a door that sticks or a disorganized closet or an AC unit that only works half the time, it all matters. You just haven't taken care of it yet. But there's an easier way. Just download the Thumbtack app. You can search for what you need done and find tons of highly rated pros right in your neighborhood. Check prices, reviews, and book a pro right on the spot. Plus, you'll know what to tackle next because Thumbtack is the app that shows you what to do, who to hire, and when. Pull out your phone and in just a few taps, say goodbye to all those unfinished home projects and say hello to caring for your home the easier way. Download Thumbtack and start a project today. On the free Odyssey app. They love it on Nebula. They're wild about it on Torinus. Even on Motus, where they don't like anything at all, they eat it up. This is the Bob and Jeff Show, starring Bob Lutz. I've got things I like to do. I like to watch television. Jeff Lutz. Well, you're just talking about all these shows, like, old man, right. what is that? Like, every show that starts, well, I'm watching it. I, I don't get it. No. 97.5 in 1240 KFH. Stand by for action. Welcome back. Hour number two, the Bob and Jeff Show on KFH Radio. Bob Lutz, Jeff Lutz, your co-host, Max Power, is our producer and engineer. 869-1240 is the IHOP hotline. We'd love to hear from you. IHOP would love for you to call their hotline. I think you get a special uh, cinnamon pecan if you do. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. You sure? Well, or are you just I making that Make, up? I don't know. Maybe you do. Tell them I sent you. Okay. I will. When's the last time you went to IHOP? Um, I don't know. It's been a little bit. Yeah. It's been a little bit for me. So... You know how many baseball games and practices I've been to in my life? A lot. A lot. So yesterday I parked my vehicle. You've told us this. I know. I'm going to tell you more. Okay. So it gets... Uh, this. Okay, but hold on. This isn't a memory loss thing. No. There's more? There's more. Okay. And it gets hammered. It's hour number two. These people want to hear this story. Well, you worried me there for a second. It's hour number... I've told this story a million times. No, don't be worried about me. I'm worried. You're worried about me. I just watched uh, American Fiction, which was great, by the way. What's it about? <laughs> Have you watched it? I don't remember. Did you or not? I can't. I don't know. Well, there's a woman in that movie who's suffering from dementia. Now it's just on the top of my brain. What was I talking about? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> anyway... I can't believe I got to get a uh, sunroof replaced. Right. They don't have them in stock. Okay. This is all, again, information that you yeah. shared. I got to wait for three days. What if it rains? I'm worried. I'm going to be out there tonight. It's supposed to rain, right? I don't have another vehicle. When's it supposed to rain? Do you know? No. What about the Channel 12 weather app? They said something. I don't remember. So now you don't even believe in that anymore. Sure I do, but I don't remember exactly what it said. Anyway, I don't have... If it rains, I'm in trouble. Well, you better find something to put on top of it. 
I, I asked my friend Brian, and he uh, he doesn't think it's going to rain. No, so he's and he's been working. He's trying, his to, tail he's off. trying to weasel out of helping you. Okay. <laughs> well, he, he's been working his tail off painting this house. And by the way, what do you think of the? <sighs> it's a it's a nice color. I'll say that. But it clashes with the bricks, in my opinion. Really? A little bit. So, really, you're going to come into my house? <laughs> you wanted an honest opinion, right? It clashes I'll, with I'll the need, bricks. I'll need some, it'll take some getting used to. Maybe I'll change my opinion over time. You know, I didn't want just a, uh, a subtle change. No, I get it. If I'm going to paint it, I'm going to go for blue's my favorite color. And I like the light gray. Kind of light to mid gray trim. Yeah, it's kind of blue, and it does have brick. I, I get it. And uh, but I think it looks great. Well, good. That's all that matters. My opinion does not. My matter. wife loves it. Good. I don't need you coming you... over here. And uh, are you trying it... to copy the color of my house? Not at all. Okay. Is it the same color? It's pretty close. Well, you have that red roof that does just. Makes my eyes hurt. You don't like that? Every time I look at it. It's more like copper. It doesn't go together. It doesn't? You just mocked me for not wasn't matching mocking the brick. You. It just uh, was a little more stark than I anticipated. Uh, what about, what about uh, your roof and how it relates to your paint color on your house? We don't. We don't uh, have paint. Are you well? It'd be the color of your house, right? The siding of your house. Yeah, it's metal. Does it uh, does it fly with you? I think so. Yeah, I like it. Well, then why don't you like this? Well, I, I, like I said, it'll take some getting used to. It's uh, a stark change. It is. Well, I'll be curious in a week uh, whether you like it or not. No. It looks, I like the paint job, and I like the color of the paint. I think everyone did a great job. Well, our friend Brian's the best, right? I don't know any better. Yeah, he's fantastic. Um, so, did you watch the Masters? <laughs> of course not. That's so weak. I mean, it's unbelievable. You know, I don't, I don't care a How lick. How could anybody be a sports fan and not? Point toward the mass. Watch baseball. You know what I'm doing. I watch baseball. Okay. But I watch the Masters. Well, I didn't watch both. I don't get it. Oh, I'm sorry. I did. Scotty Scheffler? He's had four words in his life? No, I think he's fine. I, You know, he doesn't show much emotion. He just plays. And he's the best player in the world right now, and it's not even close. Well, he's dominating. There's not even a, an argument to he's be made. got two masters. For who's next? He's only 27. How many majors does he have? Two. Those are the only two? Yes. How many will he win of the next three? One. He'll win one. Yeah. It's hard to win a bunch of it's majors. It's very hard to win a bunch of majors. You only get four chances a year. Right. And you're lucky to win one a year. No, it's unheard of to... If you average one a year, you're the greatest player ever. Right. He will win one more this year and two more again next year because there's no one on par. And the live golfers have totally thrown their talent into the waste bin. It uh, seems like they it. They only play 54 holes. Nobody ever watches them. They're playing in obscurity. Yeah, they're counting their millions of dollars. A lot of money. Good. Congratulations, guys. But you suck. Here's the problem well, with all the. What you've done? What are is, they? Is you sold your integrity. It's not even that for me. It's what have they done to earn that money? They're not helping the live tour. Nobody's watching them. Nobody cares. I don't get it. Nobody gets it. You're not providing the level of value that you are receiving. I I don't know why I didn't take Morikawa. He's my guy. I almost did. He's my guy. You understand? I was pretty, uh, pretty I was, surprised. I, I got to the end of this and I looked at my list and I go, "Are you kidding?" And then you went Trigala. You took Sam Burns. I mean, I, I got a better chance with Mister Burns from well, The Simpsons. He was only uh, he made the Sam cut. Burns. So yeah. How do you like that pop culture reference? It wasn't bad. Thirty years late. <laughs> 
Not bad. I'm hey, sorry. By the way, did you guys get any calls last night or this morning about the Billy Joel concert being cut short? Why would we get calls about that? Because it was on your station. Oh. And they couldn't go any longer. You know, the Masters went a little long. So they started everything a little late. And by the time we got to 10 o'clock, they weren't going to preempt the local news because, we, gosh, we got to know what's happening in the local news. We sure do. Yeah. Big news. And they cut off Piano Man. Oh, that's not good. They cut off several other Billy Joel songs. That's now, I only recorded it, but I've been reading about it all day. People are up in arms, are angry at the CBS affiliates of which you work. Okay, for. so it wasn't our decision. That's fine. I don't care then. It was a CBS decision, it sounds like. Yeah, it sounds like it was. That doesn't make any sense because doesn't CBS go long after football games? Yeah, or? they weren't going to do it for Billy Joel. It's too bad. no respect. Was he at MSG or somewhere else? I don't know where he was. I haven't watched it yet. I recorded it. Well, he plays at MSG a lot. I recorded that. I rec I've recorded the, the uh, Space Shuttle uh, Challenger show on CNN. I got that to watch sometime. Didn't know that was a thing. Uh, it just it just piles up. Absolutely. No, I mean it. It like my space and my uh, DVR is packed. Well, clear it out. <laughs> Eliminate some of that responsibility. What's in your DVR? I don't have. I don't think I even have one. You don't even have a DVR. I mean, I have the Sling TV thing that you can record shows. But what's the point? There's no point because you can just go back and watch them later. Yeah, I'm still the old-fashioned way. I record some shows, believe it or not. When all I'd have to do is go to. Man, why do I do that? Hulu's got everything. Yeah, basically. but why do I do that? I don't know. I'm. I'm. I'm still fascinated that we can record shows. Not You don't even have to do it. They're recorded for you, basically, in uh, forever. Like, you can have them whenever. On demand. So, switching gears here a little bit, Wichita State, we've been wondering what they were going to do in the portal. And uh, where, do, where does this kid come from? Uh, Lipscomb? Yeah. Which was a shocker opponent, right? I believe so. It has been. Um, and he's 38% three-point shooter. What are your thoughts? Uh, my thoughts are they need more than this. And it's not a terrible start. Uh, you wonder how a guy who played at Lipscomb, it's not much below what Wichita State expects to be. A.J. McGinnis, the yes. youngster's name. But, uh, right. What I will say, though, is this. Colby Rogers to Memphis. People still want to go to Memphis to play for what? Want to play for Penny. Okay, you don't win. I don't know what to tell you. They got him. They got Haggerty from Tulsa. Well, they're going to be great. No, they're not. They're going to be great. Really? Yeah. You accidentally Who are just they said holding that. on to? I don't know. His own. I mean, his son is Who's in the portal. Who knows? All these guys play for eight or nine years now, it seems like. I used to be able to follow a roster. Can't do it anymore. I mean, it's impossible. But I, those are two really good gets for Memphis, and they come from inside of the. American Athletic Conference. Right. They that's what they do. They got uh Jaquan Walton. They got the kid from SMU a couple of years ago. Well, Jaquan uh, Walton, yeah, he came from Wichita State. They uh, like to recruit within the conference. They also got a guy from Illinois uh in their portal additions. But as far as who is still on the roster, I have no idea. It's impossible to keep track of. Shockers beat Lipscomb by seventeen. Uh, back uh, in November, November the 6th, A.J. McGinnis scored 17 points in that game, made five of nine three-pointers. Well, that's a – So that's got an eye one on of the – Right? I mean, you said, hey, that kid can shoot a little bit. Hey, we could get him. Uh, so he is headed to Wichita State, and we'll see what else Paul Mills comes up with uh, in the transfer portal. And if any others leave, we still got an active, right? It's still an active. Seems like it, yeah. Portal. Guys are entering it every day and exiting. Crazy. It's really hard to follow college sports. 
That's why I say, just give me at the beginning of the season, yeah. let me know who's on the in roster. July, on July 1, I'll check the roster and we'll talk then. Perfect. Is that okay? Probably. I hate to throw my hands up and say, I just can't track all this. I, I don't want to track all of this. I don't even know really how to track all well, of this. There's it. like a page. I know there are. Listen, are you telling are you really trying to tell Verbal me? Verbal commits or something like that. I got it all on Twitter. Good. Following them like crazy. Yeah. But what I don't want to do is check on verbal commits. It's interesting occasionally. Yeah, you might see somebody of note. But you once, also haven't heard of 98% of the people in the transfer portal. Once in a while, you might see something that, that tweaks you. Maybe. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Why do you get to pick the topic for the Bob and Jeff draft when I won the last one? Because I just do. And the topic will be Major League Baseball ballparks. I thought you said uniforms. Yeah, uniforms. Well, or ballparks. I thought about ballparks first. Uh, but uniforms is probably better. There's not a wide knowledge of baseball parks like there used to be. For instance, I couldn't tell you what. Uh, g give me a franchise. Uh, the Pirates. PNC. Well, I know theirs. My uh, gosh, it's the best. The Diamondbacks. Well, Chase Field. Is it still Chase Listen, Field? I know ballparks. I'm talking about the general public. Well, give me one. No, nah, you, you you know. I try to, but Chicago has like, changed their name so many. U.S. Guar Cellular. Guaranteed rate field, I no, believe. It's U.S. Cellular. You don't think so. I think it is. Pretty sure it's guaranteed rate. Well, I don't. nobody can guarantee a rate, so I don't know why you'd... Uh, well, it's Name your ballpark loan after shark it. places. Guaranteed rate field, it is. Well, but where's U.S. Cellular? That was Chicago. That's what I'm saying. They've changed their name so many times. San Francisco, what is theirs now? I don't I have no idea. And it's a beautiful park. I've uh, dreamed of going there. Oracle never... Park. Yeah, Oracle Park. Beautiful. Just beautiful. I've only seen it from the outside. Right on the bay. Right there. Have you seen the higher shot of downtown San Francisco in the background. Have you ever seen that shot? I don't know. Maybe. Well, if you'd, if you'd seen it, you'd remember. I doubt it. No, honest. You would remember it. It's mm. unbelievable. Well, then I don't know. Have you ever been on the other side of San Francisco Bay? I, yes. I'm talking about on the northern. I'm talking about Oakland. No, I'm talking about the northern I don't side, know what that is. Where you look back into the city. No idea. Uh, it's unbelievable. You'd remember it if you had. I uh, know I wouldn't. This, this is the thing. About I don't know what north is. And being a tour. Of course you don't know north. What? Hold on. I want to try to figure out what direction. I think I'm facing south. Yes. Ah, I got it. Just a, almost an ineptitude when it comes to why direction. Would, why do people know that stuff? It's weird. Well, because that I grew up. I mean, directions. You want to know where you are. Yeah, but nobody does. So what? I, I don't do. Know. If I told you to head out and go northwest, which way would you go? Point toward it. Hold on. <laughs> it's really taking you this long? Yeah. You need that way. Very finely. We'll take a break. When we come back, we will play. Is it a game? No, it's a draft. It's a draft. The Bob and Jeff draft. We got the NFL draft coming up next week, uh, and we look forward to that, of course. But we'll do the Bob and Jeff draft next. Call from mom. Answer it. Call silenced. Instacart knows nothing gets between you and the game. That's why they make ordering from your couch easy. Stock up today and get all your groceries for the week delivered in as fast as 30 minutes without missing a minute of the game. You have 47 new voicemails. Download the app to get free delivery on your first three orders while supplies last. Minimum $10 per order. Additional terms apply. Save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile and get fiber-powered internet at home and unbeatable 5G reliability on the go. So whether you're playing a game at home, yes, go, or attending one live, Goal! 
You can do more without spending more. Learn how to save at cox.com slash internet. Cox Internet is connected to the premises via coaxial cable. Cox Mobile runs on the network with unbeatable 5G reliability as measured by Ookla LLC in the U.S. to H 2023. Results may vary, not an endorsement. Other restrictions apply. Have you ever covered a carpet stain with a rug? Ignored a leaky faucet? Pretended your half-painted living room is supposed to look that way? Well, you're not alone. We've all got unfinished home projects. Whether it's a door that sticks or a disorganized closet or an AC unit that only works half the time, it all matters. You just haven't taken care of it yet. But there's an easier way. Just download the Thumbtack app. You can search for what you need done and find tons of highly rated pros right in your neighborhood. Check prices, reviews, and book a pro right on the spot. Plus, you'll know what to tackle next because Thumbtack is the app that shows you what to do, who to hire, and when. Pull out your phone and in just a few taps, say goodbye to all those unfinished home projects and say hello to caring for your home the easier way. Download Thumbtack and start a project today. This is the Bob and Jeff Show on 97.5 and 1240 KFH. We're going to do uh, the Bob and Jeff draft. We're going to go with Major League Baseball uniforms. And uniforms have taken a big hit. They are not good-looking uniforms uh, universally. No. The names on the backs are way too small. I, I don't like them nearly as well. Hopefully Major League Baseball will see the error in their ways and go back to the better uniforms soon. Uh, but we're going to pick the best uniforms existing today. And most of this will deal with design and the look. Uh, call it. You get to call it today. Uh, heads. Heads is the call. The coin is in the air. It is on its way down, and it has landed on heads. Uh, you will go first today. I will go first. And I say this with all due respect and with tremendous humility. There is no uniform in baseball better than that worn by the St. Louis Cardinals. You combine tradition, look, the birds on the bat, uh, there's nothing like it. You're in big trouble, my friend. Not really. I will go uh, Dodgers and Yankees. Well, those are traditional. Yankees? My mother could sew that. Well, we'll see what people value. I mean, that, you know, that was a terrible. All you're trying to do is get, well, the Yankees have a lot of fans. I'll try. We'll see what people That's value. Pathetic. We'll see what people value. Absolutely pathetic. Go. I am going to go. And you're not. You get two. I do get two. Uh, stand by. I love the uniforms worn. Nobody sees them. Nobody sees these people. The Oakland Athletics. Ah, that hurts a little. And I've loved their uniforms forever. They are great. Uh, so that's my first of my two picks. And the second of my two picks, can't do that, certainly can't do that. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. You're going to make a pick, hopefully. And uh, hopefully that pick happens. You know what? I'll make a pick when I'm ready. Very soon. I'm uh, working to get organized here. So my second pick will be... Well, I don't like that uniform. This It's going to I don't like that uniform. And I really don't like that uniform. I'm going to go uh to the Pittsburgh Pirates. Really? Those are great uniforms. These are my personal favorites. I'm not just trying to win a game. Well, I think Dodgers Yankees is a good way to start. Um, anything. Who are your next two picks? We each pick eight. 
We put it out on Twitter for a fan vote, and we asked Max to weigh in. I'm going to go with the Orioles and the New York Metropolitans. Really? The Mets? I think their uniforms are fantastic. Very nice The uniforms. road uniforms are. The white ones are great. I don't care for them. Okay. So you put me in a position now to make a pick that will almost make me sick. But I got to admit, the uniform is nice. And it has been forever. The way the the C wraps around the <laughs> the the Chicago Cubs. Okay. And their crosstown counterparts have a pretty nice uniform too. I'm not going to pick it. Why? Mm. I would. No, you wouldn't. Hmm? Then we'll see if you pick it when you have an opportunity. We sure will. Um, The Toronto Blue Jays. Yikes. I love that blue tint. Well, I'm about to wrap this baby up. That's a wrap, as the kids say. Because I'm taking the San Francisco Giants Blah. and your Kansas City Royals. Oh, man. what a weak pick. <laughs> That's a good pick. Their what uniforms a... are nice. Everyone thinks their uniforms are nice. Oh, the, but the Royals fans, they'll love me. And I don't care about the Royals you know fans I loving me. I in the face of ad- adulation. <laughs> good. I have you, two picks. You won't win this one then. The Boston Red Sox, and if you really concentrate, especially on their home, they they have nice uniforms. Boring. There's no getting around it. And uh, my next pick will be the aforementioned Chicago White Sox. Hmm. All right, I've got two. We each pick eight. Max will get to weigh in here on his favorite. Although with me picking Boston, I may have won Max's vote. I'm going to take the Detroit oh, what Tigers. A boring uniform. Boring? The old English D, my friend? You're not even taking Cleveland? No, I don't think they have great uniforms. Wow. They're fine, but I don't wow. love them. Uh, and the last pick will likely come from the National League, although it's tough. I'm going to take the Philadelphia Phillies. Took the wrong team out of that division, my friend. No, I didn't. The Atlanta Braves. Their uniforms are the worst. So here is the rundown. Now, I'm I'm looking at a site from Just Baseball. Who cares what Just Baseball is? And here are, are their rankings. Who okay? cares? Well, I'm just going to – I don't – we'll give you – I'm giving you their rankings. Fine. I'm Why? not saying you have to care. What I'm saying is here are their rankings to get some, uh, get some information. Number one, the Cardinals. I picked. Number two, the A's. I picked. Number three, the Giants. You picked. Number four, the Cubs. I picked. Number five, the Dodgers. You picked. Number six, the Yankees. You picked. So we both have three of the first six. Num- number seven, the Braves. I picked. Number eight, the Phillies. You picked. Number nine, the Mariners. Nobody picked. Mm-mm. Number 10, the Pirates. I picked. So that's a good one. Number 11, the Red Sox. I pick. No one thinks the Red Sox. Number 12, the Blue Jays. I pick. No one cares. Uh, Number 13, the Rockies. No one picked. Number 14, the White Sox. I picked. Number 15. Have have these people seen the Orioles? The Diamondbacks. Nobody picked. Number 16, the Brewers. Nobody picked. Number 17, the Mets, you picked. And they showed the blue ones, which that's a. Number 18, the Orioles, you picked. Number 19, the Royals. You picked. So you picked a bunch of also Rams. No, I didn't. You've seen the Orioles uniforms, You picked right? a bunch of teams that, that are down in the bottom half. 
Well, let's we'll bring s- our producer Max. We'll Bauer see what in, uh, the people say. Who uh, who has his finger on the pulse of baseball <laughs> uniforms? <laughs> Max, what do you think? Do you, do you like back in the day in the mid '70s when they had the pullover shirts, Bob? I like those uniforms. Yeah. Uh, so listen, I I love the old White Sox and the way they went about their uniforms back in the day. And remember, they had pinstripes uh, at I one still, time. Yeah, I I still like the White Sox. The White Sox have a nice uniform. And I like the Red they still Sox have pinstripes. when they wear the blue or the red shirt. I prefer the blue, but yeah. yeah. So yeah. who has the best list? Uh, Bob, by far. I mean, at least his uniforms all have some sort of nice little symbol on them, rather than just. There you what go. What does that even mean? Uh, and couldn't why? Have been, couldn't have been better. Nice symbol. What, what symbol do the pirates have? They, have the, well, the they used to have the pirate. They used to have the. In fact, Ted had an old so they Pittsburgh have a Pirate jacket. The the, are you just judging like logos logo. or are we um, judging uniforms? Why do you the get whole so thing. angry? Because when, Max doesn't, I mean, he just comes out with his stuff and doesn't think it through. When, when Max oh. picks well, you, I don't attack him. Well, I would. But tell me what's so fancy about the Dodgers and Yankees uniforms. <laughs> yeah, typical. Let's try to win the, the win the day with going with, you know, the Dodgers Your and Yankees. Your uniform is nice. My, in the Phillies. I like the, the uniforms Phillies that were underrated were Orioles, Mets, Giants, Royals. Why are you so angry again? I, I don't I'm angry because, it. oh, they have a nice symbol. What does that even mean? It's part of the uniform. What is this, Prince? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Max, Prince. I completely get where you're coming from. You do? That's a good one, Jeff. I like it. <laughs> it's just Prince. All right. Uh, there you go. Again, to recap, Cardinals, A's, Pirates, Cubs, Blue Jays, Red Sox, White Sox, Braves, or yours truly? I'll read mine. Dodgers, Yankees, Orioles, Mets, Giants, Royals, Tigers, Phillies. Man, there's just no doubt. Well, we'll see, won't we? There's just no doubt. I got Yankees. I got Mets. I got Royals fans. I got all over. I got West to East Coast. You have, oh, the Blue Jays. Good luck. (laughs) So angry. Do you not like playing this game? I, Why do I you get so angry about it? I don't it? like one vote going against me. Well, that's terrible sportsmanship. Well, I don't. Um, do you see Spencer Strider today said, I, if, if I got the Cy Young, I wouldn't even accept it. I don't feel that bad. Uh, Why would he get the Cy Young? He's, he's not even talking about it last year. Why wouldn't he have accepted it? He didn't think he was good enough. Good for him. Go. Go, go over and put your arm in a sling. We'll talk to you in January. See ya. How about that? Sounds great. Yeah, that's what I got. Oh, just I don't telling. want to hear that. I don't either. I don't like it, but. Well, that's exactly how you're acting here. Am I? Yes. Well, if I had like gotten. Like a spoiled, whiny brat. If I hadn't gotten Max's vote, I would have rejected it out of hand. I'm happy to get Max's vote. I I'm, bet I win this poll. I'm curious to know what. Well, you might because you picked the Royals. You picked the Yankees. The I mean, Royals you, have a good uniform. As for you, their uniform's fine. And what was it, number 19 on this that list? Baseball Today. Congratulations. Yeah. Just Baseball. What have you? What other articles are on Just Baseball? Uh, the worst uniform, according to this website, uh, is Tampa. And I got to agree, there's nothing to it. They don't like Houston. Uh, they don't like Cleveland, number 28. That's an abomination. The I'll never trust this site again. Number 27. The Reds, number 26. Reds are good uniforms. Tigers. Oh, I forgot. You, you picked them coming in at number 25. Yeah, just the most traditional. Congratulations. Name something better than the old English D. I wore the old English D at Derby High School. Yeah, and they And I couldn't have been out. more proud. Get an updated logo, Derby. No, they don't do that anymore. Back I when I played, I think they do, that. and it was different. It was yours was a little thinner. I loved it back then. Did you uh, watch Saturday Night Live? Yeah, I thought it was very good. How much uh, breaking character and laughing during sketches is too much? Well, Ryan Gosling does that a lot, but he's also a very good host, so I'm willing to cut him some. Every slack. sketch, though. Well, I'm okay with it. All right. I mean, the Beavis and Butt had one, sure. Hilarious. Um, sure. I, okay. Every sketch, that's fine. I didn't have a problem with it. I, you know, there's times where I don't watch the whole thing. I, I just don't 
get into it. I got into it. I thought he was funny, uh, engaging. I like the fact that uh, Caitlin Clark showed up. I thought that was extraordinarily well done. It was. So, yeah, I don't have a problem with that. It's a good show. I mean, it's funny. I mean, it must take years for Ryan Gosling to shoot a movie, though. Can the guy stay in character? What are you so down on Ryan Gosling? I mean, act, Ryan. You don't like anybody who's better. Lo- well, if you didn't like anybody who was better looking than you, uh, half the uh, three quarters of the world would be on well, you. Well, I'd still like you. <laughs> are you saying that I'm not better looking than you? Mm, I don't know. Am I saying You've seen that? Photos of us in our youth. Oh, I was I, much better looking. I was a. I was kind of a guy. You were a guy. That's back in the day. I mean, that's provable but uh were you a good looking guy oh not really swoon never really could figure out what to do with your hair created a, a um, almost a landslide of swooning had one of those weird mustaches where it looked like you just hadn't learned to shave did you have one of those no my my mustache was incredible how do you think do you like mine don't even notice it i be quiet no, Beautiful. I don't see it. Beautiful. I honestly don't see it. It's, you used to have a decent mustache, but then you got you never stay with anything. I've stayed with this for a long time. So you you cut it back, you shave, you and, and nothing ever uh it's, uh, you know, it's a uh, Fu Manchu. Nothing ever has any last stability. Is that a word? Well, everybody messes with their facial hair every now and then. I don't. Then. Yeah, you do. You just go goatee all the time? Yeah. Name a time when I haven't. You've gone full beard. Long time ago. That's been decades. Grow it out again. Nah. Why? Nah. (laughs) Okay. Not interested. How come everybody else's hair on their face looks like it's really gritty? And mine's just hair. I don't know what you're talking about. My hair looks gritty? Like your hair looks rough. You know what I'm saying? Like you'd... You touch it, and it almost like bruise, not bruise, but like rash your hands up. You know what I'm saying? What's wrong with you? And you're talking to me about dementia? I, just, I mean, you can barely form a sentence. I, this is not good. I think I formed Listen it just to you. fine. I, I, I mean, it's like I, having I misused one word. It's like having a parrot. You don't, you don't get anything out of your mouth. It's like. You start something and then it never. I think parrots usually say stuff. Never comes to fruition. Maybe. I think I. By the way, over the it. weekend I parked near the fields oh, of McAdams. <laughs> See, I think really you forgot that you said it. Because <laughs> in that. In that uh, second telling of it, you did not provide any new information. You want if you want to know the truth, I thought I had told you before the show went on. Ah. Oh. So, yeah, to some degree, I uh, didn't completely realize I was retelling that story. And I story. shouldn't be worried. Why are you worried? Uh, that's what happens. I, you forget what you said. You forget who you said it to. You forget when you, you said it. Have you noticed that happening a lot? No, but there's always a first time. Well, maybe that is the first time on a slow descent. <laughs> I mean, I, or a fast descent. It's, you can't tell what's going to happen. It's, pretty, it's been pretty slow so far. No reason to, to I have no, suspect I had it'll to gain sit, speed. In the past three days, I've sat for two 45-minute interviews. It's a lot. Now, that's a lot for the old man. Was this the first time that you talked with that guy from the Post? No, we talked on the phone a couple times. This one was in person. Why? Did, you felt like we had a good chemistry there no, i was just saying if he's doing this story and he's just now talking to you but i didn't No, we we talked on the phone he reached out uh we had a phone interview and then he decided that he wanted to come to wichita to see this with his own eyes and uh, we're happy he did clinton yates and his crew from espn were in over the weekend we're happy they were here had another 45 minute interview that was a long one they had boy they had to set up and the Where'd you do that one from? The Leslie Rudd Learning Center. Good. Um, Where you had to like look into the camera? No, I didn't really. I don't know. I I just looked. Okay. And uh, it was fascinating to see that process because it was not just Clinton, but his producer, 
his camera people, sound man. Uh, yeah. It was interesting. Five of them. Just when we, when we come by, it's just one person usually or two. Yeah, one clown holding a mic. We do a good job, though. <laughs> Maybe they should downsize at ESPN. <laughs> well, I also did a uh, you know, long interview with our friends Jamie Green and Travis Hying from the Wichita Eagle, which they set up similarly with lots of lighting and sound. Yeah, you got to have a professional look, and um, I'm sure it will. So that documentary being produced by the Wichita Eagle will come out sometime after the statue. Weird that they also haven't, haven't contacted me, but I'm sure that'll be one of the kind of... I'm the... sure that uh, you'll be in the mix. I'm <laughs> sure people really want to know what you think. Sure. And uh, it's just a matter of time. Yeah. Don't you think? Once they realize that, you know, I'm gold on the microphone, they probably will come flocking. What would you say? I don't know. I have you. You don't have any. What would they ask? What? Well, I don't know. I don't know what they'd ask. I've told this story. I don't think I need to be involved. Twenty times, and I'm trying not to be crazy. Minimum twenty times. I'm trying. I try to change it a little bit, not, not uh, make it up, not tell untruths, but I try to tell it in a different way as much as I can. But man. It's a challenge. Oh, I get it. Facts are facts. Pretty much got to stick to those. But uh, it's been quite an experience uh, for me and for our league. And if you'd like to come out and see us, come to McAdams Park tonight. We start games at 6 o'clock. We're going to honor one of our kids who uh, is recovering very well from a very scary incident. A month or so ago, we'll have a pregame ceremony on our field at about 540 for that. And then we'll play eight games tonight on four fields as we get it going for the 2024 season of League 42. Thank you, everybody, for listening today, for indulging us as you do. We'll see you tomorrow. Save on Cox Internet when you add Cox Mobile and get fiber-powered Internet at home and unbeatable 5G reliability on the go. So whether you're playing a game at home yes, cool. or attending one live, no! you can do more without spending more. Learn how to save at cox.com slash internet. Cox Internet is connected to the premises via coaxial cable. Cox Mobile runs on the network with unbeatable 5G reliability as measured by Ookla LLC in the U.S. to H 2023. Results may vary, not an endorsement. Other restrictions apply. We really need new phones. T-Mobile will cover the cost of four amazing new iPhone 15s. And each line is only $25 a month. New iPhone 15s? It's better over here. Only at T-Mobile get four iPhone 15s on us and four lines for $25 per line per month with eligible trade-in when you switch. Minimum of four lines for $25 per line per month without a pay discount using debit or bank account. $5 more per line without auto pay, plus taxes and fees. Phone fee at 24 monthly bill credits for all well qualified customers. Contact us before canceling account to continue bill credits or credit stop and balance on required finance agreement due. $35 per line connection charge applies. See T-Mobile.com. It's a great day to venture out in a spacious and capable Toyota SUV like the new RAV4. With available all-wheel drive, it can go just about anywhere. And with plenty of passenger and cargo space, you'll go from morning carpool to weekend road trip without missing a beat. Plus, with available features like wireless charging and a touchscreen interface, your Toyota RAV4 will keep you connected no matter where you're going. Or check out a spacious Highlander. With seating for up to eight, it's a hub for family adventure. You'll drive in comfort and style with available heated and ventilated seats and all the latest tech. And with available hybrid models, your new Highlander can save you tons on gas. Right now, your local Toyota dealer has more vehicles in stock and is making delivery on new vehicles almost every day. So don't wait. Buy a RAV4 or Highlander today. Visit buyatoyota.com for deals and more. Toyota, let's go places.